Hey, actually, how you doing? Okay, I got your piece up. Now, we've got a couple of things that we talked about. We talked about using this piece as your background, and we talked about using the, the, the quote, yes, and then we talked about using the impact um, typeface when you have all three. But the thing we didn't talk about is adding these. I don't know what these are, and to be honest with you, I think they're, they're really, really harming what you have going on here. Um, it, they, it's just a visual disconnect. You have these patterns over here, then you just lay these big giant blocks over them and put your type in that. And it just, it just, it's just too much of a visual disconnect. I recommend rethinking the, the approach here for the front and back cover. Um, my recommendation would be this. I, I would take this, just take this piece right here and scale it, scale it to fit the whole window. And just make sure you constrain the proportions. But once it fits that 12 by 9, I mean, right now you have it at a 6 by 4, so quite feasibly. Or if it doesn't fit, if, if, it, if you can't get it to fit, choose another piece by Memphis. Um, this was Memphis design, right? Yeah, I believe so. And yeah, and 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 go with it. You know, go with that that type of design. And, um, and, and I would say forget this, these big blocks. I think that you're just really harming um, what could be a really interesting juxtaposition of type and image. So for that reason, I recommend, yes, recompose the background using just one piece on the background um, and, and fit your type right over that, Some maybe like right there. I think that would be really, really super interesting. Now, I, you know, if, if, if you have a reason for sticking with this, then by all means, but let me hear what your, your reasoning is behind this, this type of layout. Um, the first thing, imagine this, okay, imagine you, 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 you're in a, a bookstore and you see, oh, famous designers, this might be interesting. So you pick it up, you're looking at the front cover, which is this? This is the front cover, right? So you look at the front cover and you're going, okay, um, let's see. Uh, famous designers, I believe that in design, 30% dignity. I believe that in design, 30% dignity. Now I'm starting to get a little stressed because I don't understand what's going on. Why? Because as a viewer, I don't know that the rest of the quote is back here on the back of the magazine. Just you see what I'm saying? So that's really a problem, and I recommend not separating the type. By separating the type, you're also separating the idea, and you don't want to do that. So recommendations: I would clean up the background, you know, get rid of these kind of random blocks. Stick with the design. Use a design and just superimpose. Or, I'm sorry, not superimpose. Uh, um, lay uh, lay out your type right on top of the the design. Um, in whatever way you think is, is, is appropriate, but I definitely would not separate the, the words. All right. Hope that makes sense. Let me know. Thanks.